Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I really do appreciate it by all the ways you do that. Hitting the like button, commenting, uh, subscribing. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and welcome. <laughs> I forgot to say welcome. Um, this is going to be the daily telepathy for those of you that identify with the twin flame connection. This is general, so that means it's not going to resonate with every twin flame out there. So please keep that in mind. I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below the video description uh, where it says show more as well as all the decks. Um, I'll be using here today. The majority of the items you see will be listed below, except for the holiday items, Instagram, TikTok, uh, and the candles, okay? So if you're new and you hear me say he or she when I talk about the masculine or the feminine, I'm just talking about energies and not a specific gender. So the masculine or the feminine can be male or female. So just take it, you know, how it resonates or applies in your situations, and the energies can definitely be reversed. So you may feel you identify with one way or over the other, okay? So you know, you'll know how that applies. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this reading. Uh, there will be an extended version and my Patreon information is below if you'd like to join us there. This is the Moonology Oracle Cards. This is the energy, the masculine is in towards the feminine. And we have a win-win outcome as forecast. Full moon in Libra. So there's an energy where this masculine is wanting to win something or he's wondering about whether it is, uh, you know, this win, is there going to be justice in the situation? Will he win if he comes for towards um, the feminine? Some of you, this could be specific towards uh, those of you under the sign of Libra, or it can just be about um, justice, you know, doing the right thing. Um, also could be with legal matters as well. This is the energy the feminine is in towards the masculine, and we have expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. So it could be something around that, the eclipse, um, or, or, or the next new moon. But there is some uh, energy about expect powerful change. So either she's expecting a powerful change or she's... Um, not expecting it so we'll we'll see why that is there um so this is their shared energy we have surrender to the divine full moon okay so i do see a lot of full moon energy here so something could have shifted during this uh recent full moon uh in virgo and um so something could have caused the both of them to want to surrender to the to the divine and let the divine just take care of the situation so this is the witch's tarot. So let's go ahead and see what is this energy the masculine is in when it comes to the feminine. What is this win-win outcome is forecast? Knight of Wands. So this is about taking action. All right. So the Knight of Wands is somebody that's very passionate, you know, very, it's going to, you know, go straight off of that uh, passion. Some of you guys could be dealing with uh, fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, but this is about, you know, getting movement. So this masculine is, I feel like he's trying to figure out how to take action, how to come forward. Uh, maybe in the past, this masculine was uh, someone that went back and forth uh, um, with you, or they had a tendency, uh, you know, to be a, a player of, you know, that type of energy just coming in and out of your life. Okay. So let's go ahead and see why is this feminine in the energy of expect powerful change when it comes to the masculine. So we have the high priest, which in this deck, this is the hierophant, okay? So she's expecting powerful change. I feel like with this, there's this um, uh, man here in this card is pointing up. So I feel like this is about the feminine expecting uh, powerful change from, you know, guidance, like she's seeking guidance. This also can indicate, um, re you know, religious beliefs, belief systems, commitment, um, so she, if this masculine is in a commitment, she could ex be expecting him to either change that commitment, that um, relationship, that marriage, or she's expecting a powerful change to come um, regarding their, um, you know, their relationship. Okay, but I do feel like there's some assistance here um, with these keys. Um, that something is changing and I see moon and sun energy. So I'm seeing the masculine and the feminine energy. So something could be, uh, something could be, you know, merging or combining here. Like there's some type of key 
uh, being unlocked when it comes to this connection. So what is this surrender to the divine, their shared energy? Ace of Cups. Okay, so they're both surrendering to this energy of wanting something new, a new beginning, uh, emotional, something fulfilling. Um, this can also be about self-love, self-care. So they could be now starting to focus on themselves. And as a point, I mean, as uh, a result of that, the emotions is starting to overflow. This new beginning, this new opportunity is starting to uh, come alive. It's, it's starting to, you know, be something that is, you know, being seen, realized. Okay. Uh, Ace of Cups energy. So let's go ahead and see. Um, this is my situations deck. Um, this is available below. If you live in the United States, you can get this from my site or my Etsy shop. But if you're international, interested in any of my decks, please send me an email below. I will send you the link to order. So what's the current situation between the masculine and the feminine? Love affair. So dirty little secret down low. So the both of them um, in, in the current situation, this either is... A third party situation going on here, okay, where things are in a secret, things are being kept on the down low, where they both could be, you know, hiding about the situation, or there's a love affair going on between the two of them uh, that they are starting to realize. So let me just see why that um, is there. Um, this is the uh, Kipper deck. Um, let's go ahead and see what is this. Okay, <laughs> it came out already. Yeah, so. There's a third party situation involving a, in a family um, dynamic. We have number 21, which is also three. Both of these numbers can be significant. Um, also, the three I see as a, a third party uh, uh, factor um, as well as sometimes it can be prayers answers. In this situation, I feel it's a third party in a family room. This is family room is about, you know, in the family, you know, that that's obvious the family room, but it also can be about intimacy, you know, where you have intimate uh, conversations. So right now there could be a conversation going on, or there's a third party involved here involving a family situation. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how is your person currently seeing you at this time? How is your person currently seeing you at this time? Six of Swords. So they could be seeing you as moving forward, leaving troubled times behind, you know, not wanting to deal with that situation, maybe because of a communication problems, but they could just see you as moving forward. Okay. Um, also, some of you could be air signs with that Libra. So it could be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. So they could either seeing you moving forward, wanting to leave any, you know, kind of troubled energy and that could be them or just you know just in general so let's go ahead and see um what is working in favor of this connection what's working in favor of this connection seven of pentacles so what's working in favor of this connection either someone is starting to plant the seeds uh you know, are starting to analyze the situation, um, maybe possibly investing. We do have this masculine here. So there could be a masculine that's starting to uh, look at things different, you know, analyzing how they can come forward and take action and be successful in that. Okay. Also could be somebody is focusing on their money with the seven of pentacles energy. So let's go ahead and see why that is um, working in the favor. This is the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. So why is this working in the favor of the seven of pentacles? Why is the seven of pentacles working in favor of the connection? Not today. Okay. So not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundary, still angry. So I'm getting a couple of things when I get this. What somebody here is they're focusing on their coins and there are um, not dealing with this energy okay not dealing um with somebody that may be avoiding a conversation or investing their time into this energy and so because of that i'm sorry if you hear a car in the background uh, my family's working on a car um 
somebody is not putting their time into this okay they're not dealing with somebody that doesn't want to have a conversation they're focusing possibly on their their pinnacle so that if that's you that could be you you know doing this or this if it's not that is this working in its favor somebody is trying to analyze how they can come forward successfully um, because in the past they were in this energy of not wanting the dealing avoiding the conversation okay so this is my mystery house deck also available below so let's go ahead and see what is the current challenge or blockage uh, between you and your person at this time what is the current challenge or blockage with you and your person at this time okay too many <laughs> what's the current challenge or blockage between um, you and your person at this time what's the current challenge blockage all right you see that <laughs> it popped over ghost unexpected guess okay so the current challenge or blockage is it feels like someone is still feeling um that present um or something has come up for them unexpectedly or some unexpected guest um has come in between the situation so i'm going to get one more card plus i'm going to uh, just clarify that so why is this a current challenge or blockage between okay incubus there you go dark male energy user so we have this knight of wands what i'm getting here is in the past this person um was in this energy maybe they only came off as own they only wanted sex or maybe that's all they wanted at the time and so now this is a challenge uh, because incubus is a sexual uh demon you know someone that kind of comes to you in the night so this is about sexual energy you know using someone so there is some type of uh energy um that has come up unexpectedly um or that is lingering is what I'm getting like a ghost. It's like hovering over this masculine of what he did in the past. Like how can he be successful when he only when he only came off as being, you know, um, he only came off as wanting sex or you may felt that way or whatever he presented himself. If, if he was that way or he was back and forth, um, whatever this is. This is causing a challenge in the connection, okay? Some unexpected uh, energy here that this masculine is needing to be successful um, over in the past, okay? So let's go ahead and see um, what is the outcome or action uh, at this time that, um, from this, uh, this person, which I feel is um, the masculine. What is the outcome or action that he is likely to do? Um, in the extended, I'm gonna see what is the next step your person needs to take in order for this to come into your, uh, union as well as some additional love and thought messages uh, from the masculine. So if you wanna join me in the extended, that link is below with the Patreon. So let's see, what is the outcome or action your person is likely to take at this time? Three of Cups. So this is reunion, this is celebration, um, this also is other people, okay? So this could be friends, a soulmate, because we do have, a, there is a situation going on right now in a, a family room. So there could be where this masculine wants to come together or get together, or there could be someone involved in this situation that he may need to um, address before he can come. I do see this masculine does want to take this action. So I feel like he does want to come into reunion with you, but there could be other parties involved in in this uh, situation. So let's go ahead and um, clarify this Three of Cups. What is this Three of Cups? Main male. <laughs> so this is the masculine here showing himself that he wants to come into reunion so for some of you and this may not apply to everybody but some of them could be having a conversation about something that they've been hiding in a family uh, situation or they are planning to do this okay um 
yeah, I feel like this main male is wanting to reconcile. Um, he could be also, since we do have the Hierophant here in this reading, he could be seeking advice from somebody that is a friend to him, how to uh, approach the situation. Um, so I will, you know, dive a little bit further and extend it um, to get uh, more ab about, you know, more specific details and what could be going on in the family room. Okay, um, let me get a few messages from your person to you. This is uh, my twin flame messages, also available below. So let's go ahead and get a few messages from your person. And then I'm going to wrap this up and take this over to the extended. Let's get a few messages from the masculine to the feminine, because I feel like that's who's coming through. Your intuition is right. So this is letting me know that my intuition was right of what I was saying here. And this is also letting you know that your intuition is right about the situation. This also, this masculine could want to come forward to let you know that your intuition is right um, about whatever it is that you guys might have discussed and what he was avoiding, not dealing with, okay, um, in a family situation or even his emotions. I just can't stop loving you. So this is also also what I'm getting is your intu intuition is right, is that this masculine cannot stop loving you. He's tried, but it's just something that just keeps coming back um, into his intimate um, space, okay? I don't want to lose you again. So this masculine does not want to lose you. So he's prepared to take some type of action to come forward towards you, but he wants to be successful at it, okay? He wants to be successful at it. So I do see an anal analyzing uh, energy that's going on of how to be successful in the situation because there is a surrender that you both are. You both are surrendering um, to, you know, this connection, to this love, to self, you know, however it applies uh, to you. And the feminine is taking guidance uh, and seeking guidance and possibly getting answers from uh, the universe as well. So let's get advice or message um, from spirit before I take this over to the extent and go a little bit further to see what is the next step. The ma um, yeah, and your masculine is what I'm getting through here. It could be your person, just take it how it resonates. What is the next step your person needs to take before they can come towards you? And then any additional messages they would like to say it's time and then I'm going to clarify some more deeper into these energies. So this is advice or message for the person watching spirit, a clear message. Okay, we have the infinity symbol. Okay, so infinity symbol is associated with twin flame connections. So this is also... Um, could be somebody that is wanting to come back around, somebody that you have history with where you it kind of comes on and off again as well. So I do feel like um, that's a message that is coming through. So let's get that with the Moonology card for advice and message for the person watching the video. Okay, I'm gonna do that again because um, Spirit snatched the cards out my hand. <laughs> All right, let's get one more. Okay, it still didn't feel right. So one more time. Okay. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. So your, your spirit is telling you that it is time for you to take action or they could be giving you a message that someone else is about to take action. It's time for them. So we have new moon in Aries. So this could be specific around those of you um, tied to Aries or um, air signs or fire signs. Okay, um, is what I'm getting here. But we also have the Taurus here with the Hierophant. So Taurus, strong Aries and Libra. Uh, coming through uh, strong, okay? And the others can be additional factors, but it's, it's telling you it's time to take action. So whatever it is that you've been putting off or holding off on, this could be about projects, work, your health, um, cleaning, whatever it is, you'll, you're going to know what it is, um, but it's time for you to take action in that situation. That is what spirit is. That's the message, okay? All right. So if that resonated with you, uh, please do me a favor, hit the like button, comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, anything that you're wanting to know, extended readings, uh, personal readings, all that stuff. 
is going to be listed below. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.